Your girl's gotta eat in between. I gotta shove, shove this in my face. Good morning, my fit lifers. Today, I'm gonna do a full day of eating with voluminous foods. Reason being one of the best tips I can give you guys for anyone who is cutting, who's trying to lose weight, who's prepping for a bodybuilding show, the best way you can cut your diet down, reduce the calories and not feel so restricted is increasing the number of voluminous foods that you're eating. So for you guys today, I'm gonna to show you some different options of things that I'm gonna consume, which are higher in volume, but still relatively lower in carbohydrate, lower, lower calorie options for the most part. Um, one of the first tips I want to start by saying, though, is one of the best things you can do in terms of volume and feeling satisfied throughout the day is make sure you're getting in enough fluid. One of the things I do, and I already went to the gym this morning and I did some cardio, I made sure I drank at least a half gallon. And I know that might seem extreme for some people. I've always been a really good water drinker. I have no issues getting in a gallon of fluid. And everyone's fluid needs are a little bit different, but overall, make sure you're drinking enough fluid throughout the day, and that's gonna help you feel more satisfied if you're making sure your hydration is on point. So, for my first meal, um, I wanted to have something a little more satisfying, but still filling and not too, too high in carbs. Um, but in terms of volume, one of the things I like to do is make overnight oats. So I made this up last night. Can you see that? For the overnight oats, I wanted to try out my new favorite Greek yogurt. This is an 80 calorie yogurt and it is bomb. It is on point, the caramel apple pie. Um, so I made my overnight oats using one full serving of this yogurt and I added in like 30 grams of oats with a half a cup of cashew milk and a little bit of Splenda and that was it. I stirred it up, let it sit in the fridge overnight and then this morning I added in about 40 grams of sliced up um, gala apple, which you actually can use a lot of apple um, for low carbs. I used about 40 grams of apple, but what I did was I chopped it up really tiny and small so that I could stir it around into my oatmeal, add a lot of volume, and added some cinnamon. So you can see this is a huge ass bowl of oatmeal. Look at that, baby. Ends up being about 30 grams of protein, 32 or so grams of carbs, and like four grams of fat. So this should be pretty filling. I love overnight oats. They're great to bring to work with you. Um, yeah, you gotta make them the night before. No big deal. It takes like two seconds, folks. It's not a big deal. Um, but they are very filling and I like them because they do help satisfy me quite a bit throughout the day. So a lot of my options throughout the rest of the day will probably be a lot, um, a lot of veggies and fruits. So for right now, I wanna start my day with a big bowl of oats and get this thing going. And my newest addiction, thanks to Netflix, I'm the last person on the face of the earth to get Netflix, apparently. Um, Jason and I are. And I watched the pilot episode to Gossip Girl, which is not even on TV anymore, and I am freaking hooked. So if you guys like Gossip Girl, guys or girls, comment below. Episode one, and I'm just like, I'm in it. So I'm gonna watch some Gossip Girl and uh, eat my oats, and we'll see you in the next clip. All right, guys, I am here with my next meal, and this is my next voluminous meal. I have a huge bowl, I'll show you underneath, with like 250 grams of spaghetti squash in it. Spaghetti squash is in season right now, so I highly suggest you become friends with the squash family, because you can eat tons of squash for very low calories, low carbs. Um, squash is great because it kind of subs the spaghetti squash is great great because it kind of substitute like a spaghetti so I mixed it up with four ounces of lean burger I threw in there a little bit of onion um, not even a full serving of my pasta sauce which I wanted to show you guys this one wild oats organic I got this at Walmart um, a half cup is only seven carbs which is fairly low for um, a pasta sauce so I didn't even use a full serving of that and I added in there some how much four ounces of fresh broccoli that I steamed up so this should be a nice filling meal for me and I was gonna mention too if you guys are Netflix subscribers as most people are 
comment below with what your favorite guilty pleasure is on Netflix or what I should watch. There's tons of TV series that I know I've missed out on, so please comment below what your favorite one is that I should check out. And I'm gonna dig into this because it looks delicious and I'm hungry. And I'm about to bake something for TigerFitness.com. That's why you may or may not see all the jazz in the background. So your girl's gotta eat in between. I gotta shove, shove this in my face. All right, volume eating works, you guys, because that last meal I showed in the last clip lasted me hours. I was seriously so full, and Jason's like, Kara, you don't, you know you don't have to like eat the whole thing, right? Like, you could just eat half. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna eat it all. So I was full for like a long time, but I got really hungry again, so now I'm having another meal. I cooked up four ounces of chicken. I got organic chicken. Um, I cooked it in just a little bit of coconut oil because my fat's fairly low for the day so far. And I put it on top of some of this butter lettuce, which butter lettuce just sounds delicious. And it is pretty delicious if you taste it. It's like, oh, it does have like a nice flavor to it. And even though it's not a dark green, it's still pretty high in vitamin A. Not as high in vitamin C or calcium, but still a good source of vitamin A. So you don't always have to eat spinach. Um, but I added some of that because adding lettuce is one super simple way to add volume to your meals. Whatever it is you're eating, throw a shit ton of salad in there. Anything that takes you longer to chew and eat, consume, it's gonna help fill you up a little bit longer. You know, if you're just drinking something or eating something really quick, you're not always as satisfied from it. Whereas a meal like this that involves a lot of chomping and chewing and takes a while to eat, and my last meal was the same way, you know, usually helps satisfy you a little bit longer. So I got chicken salad. I might use a little bit of this Walden Farms Thousand Island. It's okay, I'm not crazy about it, but it's what I have in the fridge. I had left over some Brussels sprouts that I cooked with um, butternut squash um, that I ate for my meals at work this week. So I'm gonna finish that off again, Brussels sprouts and squash high fiber, lots of volume, not as high in carbs. And accompanying it are 50 grams of blackberries that do taste pretty titties. I'm gonna drink some of this. And I think I will be eating one more time tonight, so we shall see how long this takes me. All right guys, so we are gonna finish out the day of my voluminous eats. And what I originally had planned was doing some like broccoli slaw and some cucumbers and maybe some more squash. I picked up this delicata squash, which I don't know what the hell to do with it, um, but I was gonna look it up. But I'm, I, I swear to you, I'm really full from how I ate today. Like I, don't get me wrong, I can always eat. I'm not one of those people. I can always get down with some food but I've been you know, very satisfied today and I've also been getting over a sinus infection and my throat just hurts. So I thought I've showed you enough veggies. These are some other items to have in your arsenal. Zucchini, must have zucchini for zotes on voluminous days. I know I didn't show that today, but still have it. So anyways, I thought I'd show you a voluminous, delicious dessert that I hold close to my heart because it's so super delicious. I've been eating it all week. You guys have probably seen it Maybe, maybe not. If you follow me on Instagram, I've posted my MTS soft serve ice cream and the full recipe video is up at tigerfitness.com. Um, look at that beauty. We just got in the no bake cookie protein, which was reflavored and I really like it now. I wasn't really meh before and now I'm like, yeah, it's good stuff. So I did the soft serve with that. And what I've been loving, if you guys can find this peanut butter and co powdered peanut butter, it's vanilla flavored. This is titties approved right here, you guys. Blows PB2 out of the freaking water. Like I can't, I just can't explain it. You have to just go buy it and see for yourself. Highly recommend it, super delish. Pretty much the same macros as PB2. Um, one carb higher, one gram of protein higher. No big deal. So I put a couple tablespoons of that on top. I like leaving it all peanut buttery. But for one scoop of protein with the milk and the ice, it makes like, I don't know if you guys can tell the size of this bowl, but there's a lot of frickin' ice cream in here. And I use my little teeny tiny spoon with it, so it takes me a while to eat. 
And that's dessert volume right here. That's what I'm talking about. You guys know I have a sweet tooth. This is how I'm ending my night, eating my little soft serve dessert snack here. So I think this is gonna conclude my day of voluminous eating. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to sub 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 don't forget to subscribe if you don't already. I can't talk. My sinus infection is getting to my head. I'm sorry. Thank you guys for your support. Starting we'll the out one. the month of October with my birthday. A very special day. October 1st. October 1st. That's what I said. Or starting out the month. Mm -hmm. October 1st is my birthday. And then me and Jason got married on... October 10th. <laughs> Putting him on the spot I right know, there. I don't know. I think you were on the spot. No, I know when we got married. Stop it. So October 10th is our anniversary, and then it's Halloween month, so it's just like... Vacation month. Right? I was going there.